All right, you guys, and then over the routine, we give it a minute, and then we will get started. <laughs> Bless you. Thanks. Hey Russell and Mike. Russell, just so you know, your first package went out today. So uh, that's the one that's got most of the base cards in it. That was the three pound package. What's going on, Vinny? Alright, so it looks like we're going to be doing the random ourselves. No big deal. I got my split screen ready to go. Actually, not split screen, just my second camera. And it's only it's only been what eight months <laughs> from the from the uh, what was the first thing? The Defenders. I don't know when I was packing it up. There was uh, Defenders, Ant Man and Wasp. There was uh, um, there was one card from Avengers. Uh, from Infinity War. I think you needed one card that I had. That would average a ton of stuff. George. Alright, here we go. So tonight, <clears throat> excuse me, we've got ourselves the last two boxes of Star Trek Deep Space Nine Heroes and Villains archive boxes. Break is sponsored by Blowout. There they are. Box four. Box 5. The only difference is going to be who the printing plate is and if we get lucky enough to have one of those um, um, a nice looking piece for the display panel relic. Alright, we'll, we'll talk about Outlander in a second, George. Let's get this random done first. So we're going to switch screens. So once I switch screens, I'm going to be kind of lost. So it's hard on me. All right, so there we are. Let me just adjust this ever so slightly. That's kind of jury rigged. I only I, I have to get a second mini tripod for my desktop here, so I'm not crooked and such. But it'll work for what we're doing. Uh, maybe moving it just a little bit closer. Okay. So we are going to jump over to the brake thread. I'm going to come over here to box four. Whoops. Try that again. There we go. Copy everybody. New tab. Uh, Random.org. List randomizer. Okay, here we go. This is box number four. There they all are. You see everybody's there. Remember, we do this five times. Number one. Number two, let's see, two times. Number three, three times. Number four, this is the one that counts. And number five. Oh, look at that, Vinny. Congratulations, and Russell, you're number two. I guess it pays to, uh, and let's copy all that. It pays to be watching it live. We're going to copy that. We're going to. Jump over. I open up another and post. Okay, I can't read any comments yet until I jump back over. So you guys are all on your own. Okay, so now we're gonna come back down here. 
copy box five copy random I'm just gonna go and do it all over again from scratch list randomizer come in here paste it there they all are okay here we go number one number two number three number four okay this is the one that counts number five and George look at that Vinny you got number three Samuel number two so congratulations to you guys here do that come back here box five random and paste all that in there okay there they are so like I said congratulations to everybody let's close this down Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to my encoder and switching back to the boxes. And it locked up to me. I don't know. That's weird. I'm going to just... That's not very safe, George. Huh, I wonder why that camera has still got a little piece showing. Let me try and uh, jump over. Bear with me for one second. I'm going to go in and go back out again. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to disconnect that video. I'm just going to check our comments that I missed. It's not letting me scroll up. Why am I not scrolling up? Okay, there right, I was just reading the comments. I need to just turn the ringer off on my phone. I don't know how to do that. So I'm just going to shut my phone off. I thought I had it off. Okay. Here we go, box four. Like I said, we already know what's in here. All we're missing is what our printing plate is going to be and what our display panel relic is going to look like. So Georgie said people are jumping the gun and uh, putting some uh, Outlander stuff, the CZX on uh, online, on eBay. I guess they figured they'll uh, be a couple hours ahead of time. Alright, so box A here. Well, I guess the real question is going to be, they might be asking crazy prices, but when people start to actually buy them. Alright, so we start. Here's our Avery Brooks. And here's our Duel. 
I'm going to go as quickly as I can. Just because we are, like I said, we already know everything that's in here. I'm just excited that they finally got that stuff out because now they give it a little bit of time and um, they're supposed to start letting us know what's in DC superheroes and supervillains. The Deborah Lacey. So in box A, which is what we're opening now, all the exclusives are in this box are um, autograph wise and then all the other autographs are in box B. Comic cut number one. Oh, this is number one of 99 too. Um, I can add them. I didn't have them in only because in the past it's only been two boxes worth so wasn't really wasn't really worth it there's another close-up here we got 90 of 99 CC 9 so uh, George was there anything in the stuff that's listed on eBay for Outlander that's different from all the previews that we uh, that we've been seeing over the last few months You know, the preview for the display panel relic card is always, you know, it's got this fancy all kinds of, you know, writing on it. And so far, this is the fourth one we've gotten, and it's always been the same thing, just two lines. You know, I, I've never seen the show, Outlander, so, you know, I don't know how big it is, but it just seems to do something this expensive for that license was just... I don't know, it just seemed to be a... I guess probably the best thing about the, uh, the stuff is that Dustin had said that there'll be more... Um, more in it. But you're pretty much guaranteed one of the two main autographs. CC12, 73, and 99. And that there was going to be one or two extra um, wardrobe cards, was it? Well, maybe once the stuff comes out and a few sales are made, the, the break that we've been trying to fill for the last couple of months will actually fill. CC8, 40 of 99. Oh, I saw you responded about the asking about the Doctor Who packs. I'm just curious if anybody has any kind of a tracker on it to know, you know, what's left to be pulled. Because I would hate to, you know, open up 50, 60 packs and more than half of them are going to be um, CC2. I can't think of the, the one character. There's like four different poses of the one guy. So that's what I just, I don't want to see that. Oh, um, the, the breaks that I submitted the other day, the Next Generation Portfolio Prints archive boxes, that just popped up just a, maybe a half an hour ago. And, um... The Skywalker Saga, with, we're not 100% sure on the release date, but that, um, that, that break that I had put in the other day. Uh, Andrew Robinson. And George, you had also mentioned um, the other DS9 box, uh, the complete DS9. And I had looked at that before, and I didn't, you know, check to see the, the values. But 
there's only like half as much stuff in it than there is in one of these boxes. That's the only reason why I was kind of skipping it. I mean, I know I, I saw that it had, you know, more of the main cast in it. Bill Smitrovich exclusive. You know, Vinny, you're a, a Doctor Who guy. Did uh, did you join in on the signature uh, break, or did you open any of the signature packs? Nana Visitor. the biggie iggy pop the one thing i would like to know is with these iggy pops and when we get to the other box he definitely his signature on the regular version not the archive aliens version i think is a in every one of them so far has been better looking Like that one's not too bad, but when we get to the uh, to the other one, we'll compare them. Jim Metzler. Chase Masterson. top that's why i was posting those other those other breaks in my thread you know looking for something different because you know getting you know there really isn't a whole lot left worth opening billy mummy i mean there's no game of thrones inflections did come down a little bit more but not not enough that I think it's worth breaking. Uh, I, I was just looking today. What is it at? I think it was at twenty-seven fifty now, because it was at twenty-eight seventy-five or twenty-eight fifty, something like that. Uh, who? Uh, I feel like I remember seeing that post, but that was, you know, I mean, the stuff's been out for a while now. Who uh, who were the three autographs on it? Here's the two case toppers. Put that there. Here's our printing plates. I think, uh, well, I know that's not one of the main cast. Well, we'll still wait till the end. All right, so we got Helene Udi. Vanessa Williams. That's good. We got it in the first pack. And then here's Iggy Pop. So now this one's really not that much different. In some of the other boxes, his signature was a lot cleaner. But I, I just made the observation that it seemed that the signature in the regular version was cleaner than in the uh, archive. <laughs> I 
So I'll have fun in the grocery store. Are you still uh, there, Russell? Salome Jens? Yeah, I mean, Inflections just wasn't as warmly uh, received as uh, Dick Miller, as Valerian Steel was. So I was talking with, who was I talking with? I want to think it was pop culture today and something I was just looking at, Leland Crook. So you know how a mu most of you guys are, um, you're in my Facebook group, you know, a lot of the, the regulars that do the breaks with me. So we were talking about how, and you had asked about Marvel Premiere and that it's not um, Blowout doesn't have any. Blowout doesn't have any. <laughs> Dave and Adams does. Because they are an authorized upper deck web retailer. Bridget Ann White. If I could get enough people in the group to take a spot or two, I could see about getting a case of Marvel Premiere and break it in the Facebook group since we can't do it on Blowout. At least not to start. Mark Alimo. I didn't realize, I think, this might be one of the most expensive initial prices for it. Felicia Bell, I think it was, uh, I think they have it at fourteen twenty-five a case. And it's only 30 spots in a break, so you're looking, it's probably, I don't remember what I roughed the numbers out to. It's got to be like $56 a spot. Like I said, the big thing is, um, and just, you know, we only have 40 members in the in the group. So some of the other people, and I can't, I'm not allowed to promote the group because it's technically in direct conflict with Blowout. Susan Bay Nimoy, and you know, I don't blame him at all. So, you know, the other people that join in a lot of the breaks, I can't, you know, I'm not going out there and soliciting. Andrea Martin. All right, and anybody who's a big DS9, DS9 fan, that card there, Andrea Martin, I didn't look it up, but is that the same actress, SCTV, comedian, Patricia Tallman? Because the, the one big positive about doing Breaks with Blowout is I don't have to buy the stuff, you know. I try and break it, and if it's there... I mean, if, if it feels great, if it doesn't, you know, no harm, no foul. But for doing something with Dave and Adams, I have no relationship with them, and they're not going to hold anything for me. Wendy Roby, so I need to actually fill it first, hope the price doesn't change, and then and then buy it. Once I know that once I know the break is full, you know, I can buy it then. Andrew Robinson, but I'm definitely not going to put out fourteen hundred dollars and then have a break not fill. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's our first silver signature. Terry Farrell. You know, I loved the silver signatures from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I looked them up on eBay. I didn't realize they really went up in price what people are buying them for. Paul Popowich. So you guys are more than welcome to reach out to some of the other group regulars that might not be in the Facebook group. Julie Caitlin Brown. And if they want to join the group and, uh, you know, join in on the breaks. I'm going to try and do a Walking Dead break because that's uh, small and cheap. Charlie Brill. 
a lot easier, you know, on a three hundred fifty dollar case than uh, you know to take a uh, take a chance at it. Deborah Van Valkenburg. There's the other Chase Masterson. Yeah, I just read over on Anna. <laughs> you know what's funny, Vinny, is I am the now I mean the exact opposite is I only have the the group I made my account just for the group I have no friends in real life too just kidding and uh, I, you know I don't want anybody to I don't want to be bothered with family and friends and things like that I'm just trying to you know spread the hobby Max Groden chick Oh, she, you're lucky then. Hillary Shepard Turner. Mark Alimo. Bill Smitrovich. What do you mean, Dabo, Russell? Like uh, Olivia Dabo? How's it going, Ryan? Wayne Grace? Well, I can say the one thing that I think, if I if I understood the because I'm not much on Facebook, like I don't know the ins and outs of it. Uh, Nana Visitor Silver Signature. But all the people that are part of the group, like I can't go and see your pages. Like I'd have to still become friends to do that. But the big thing's just like I said, we're going to, you know, all I've been doing is I'll post... Like when we do a group break, I'll post the, some of the results and I try and do a little review. I'm a little behind. I, I I'm uh, I got to do flare. That was the one I'm stuck on. Mark Allen Shepard. I just figure with blowout, you know, the non-sports stuff, we get buried so quickly. Shannon Cochran. I thought your daughter was a little bit younger than that, Vinny. My uh, my son just turned 16 the other day. Barbara Bossen. Oh, there's something... It's a little smudge or something on the card. Just very lower corner. I'm not going to try, but I can feel it. So it probably, you could probably wipe it off. Steven Weber. Get ready to laugh for me. Silver signature, Rene Arbre-Genois. I can never pronounce his name.
Michael Canavan. The regular Deborah Lacey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that that helps me. Well, I forget, Mike. Were you the one that said you had met him, and you were just calling him Mr. Renee? Bertilla Damas. Now you have every right to brag. Shannon Cochran again. Bernie Casey. And Felicia Bell. Jill Jacobson. Yeah, uh, I was about to say, I read over on NSU, I think somebody passed away. Billy Mummy. I thought it was a Star Trek person. I mean, not a, not a main, you know, uh, character. A woman. I'm drawing a total blank. Courtney Peldon. Stephen Mack. Alexander Sittig, Silver Signature. Hey, did any of you open up any of Chrome Legacy yet? Besides myself from the group break? I'm looking for people that, um, I'm looking for people that, uh, opened some that wanted to, that wanted to, calling you try and swap base cards so I can fill finish those sets up Jim Metzler I couldn't believe that two cases and I couldn't make two complete base sets Caitlin Hopkins Michael Dorn, Silver Signature. Uh-oh, everybody's dropping off. Where's everybody going? Molly Hagen. Hey, 
Hillary Shepard Turner. Camille Saviola. Daphne Ashbrook. Avery Brooks, silver signature. All right, Vinny, you have a good night. Sia Batten, or Saya, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Doesn't want to focus. Deirdre Emersheen. You out of here too? Oh, you're just saying bye to Vinny. I hate it when I'm opening by myself. Wallace, Sean. I feel like you're just talking to yourself. Alright, just a few more to go. Harris Yulin. Well, it says three watchers. Um, Mike's Fitness. He he had said hi earlier. I don't know if he's still there. Melanie Smith. Sometimes, you know, there'll be somebody watching and they just mute the, the sound because I think I lull people to sleep. Galen Gorg. Yeah, yeah, I'm Ben Stein. Come on. If you see, you know, I know you can't see my face, but if you see like a big thing of spittle come dripping down onto the cards. Anyone? Anyone? Joseph Culp? Heidi Swedberg? <laughs> Thank you. There's the other wormhole one, Susanna Thompson. Brett Cullen. Yeah, I have no idea if the price changed or if it's the same or what, but um, would you be up for another Pop Century break? I think you were in that, weren't you? Is that Fionula Flanagan?
No, you weren't? I thought you were. Oh. Annette Heldy. The thing, I mean, if you, I don't know if you looked at the break, but the, the cases, I mean, the first case was phenomenal. Joe Sweetow. Well, there you go. But the second case was pretty damn weak. So, you know, I don't know how, if all the cases are that hit or miss, because then just, you know, James Sloyan, you know, spread spread it out a little bit. <laughs> I guess that's true. How are you today? Yeah, there's only two surprises. Like I said, it's the who's the printing plate of, and are we lucky enough to actually get some writing on this display panel relic? And Tracy Scoggins. I just thought it was my personality. Maybe maybe I smell or something. I, I didn't know. And we end with Armin Shimmerman. Silver Signature. Yeah, I wonder how many of those there are. Okay, so that was it for box four. Oh, I didn't show you the printing plates. And our printing plate is card number 16. Wee Yoon. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the black's the best. Usually is. these out of the way I don't know why I'm getting as big of a kick as I am but um, why are they hugging all the I'm not sure what that word is. Is that supposed to be lady printing plates? I K A D Y. Yeah, we I don't think we pulled one female printing plate, you know, character. I mean, we were lucky enough we got the Iggy Pop in the last um, break. But on Pop Century, I don't know why I like it as much as I do, but somebody posted it today. They pulled one of the Chris Hansen autographs. And just when he inscribed it and said, you know, why don't you have a seat? It's just, I, you know, just from watching that to catch a predator. Uh, here's our duel. Just cracks me up. Here's our Avery Brooks. And one thing I say every time, Rittenhouse, please, when you run out of these stickers, get new ones. Smaller. You, you cover up half the card with the size of that sticker. Have you been here the whole time, uh, E. Kim, or did you uh, just join in? Deborah Lacey. Just a little bit. I don't know if you saw the um, portfolio, uh, next generation portfolio prints break uh, popped up right before I started this. Comic Cut 11. Now why am I having such trouble focusing tonight? 
even worse than usual. There we go. Who are the Red Sox playing tonight? And CC4. C13 Is anybody going to beat Houston this year? I know from my neck of the woods, sure isn't going to be the Phillies. CC5. Uh, which, <laughs> yeah, I grabbed the box of the archives from Blowout. Which, uh, which box? CC14. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you sneak in last weekend when they had their last, uh, I think, three of them up on the site to get the one of these boxes? Did you open it yet, or did you get it? Curious to to know what your uh, printing plates were and what your display panel relic looked like. Bernie Casey, remember box A is the archive exclusive autographs, and then box B has all the packed inserted autographs. Well, at least it's a little different. We got a piece of a circle. Well, that was probably this one because when they had, when it said that they had two left or three left, whatever it was, I put up box four 
And then I asked him, I'm like, you know, I said, it's going to fill Andrew Robinson. I was like, uh, do you really only have one left or, you know, do you have more hiding? And he said that as far as he knew, that was the last one. So, and they, they honestly expected it to sell and it didn't sell like in a day. So I'm like, well, let me just break it then. So that's why I thought I got the last one. So like I said, I think that's what it was. There was three left. So then I got two, you got one. Nana Visitor. Bill Smitrovich. Iggy Pop. I don't have much self-control to keep things sealed. I don't know if I could do that. Jim Metzler. Oops. I do miss the old days of archive boxes, and I, I'm put. I can't say it was Rittenhouse. I mean, I don't know who else did archive boxes. <clears throat> Excuse me, Chase Masterson. But I remember it used to be able to, if you purchase it, you know, if you had a case, and they would randomly put archive boxes in cases. And this was back probably 2006, 2007, maybe somewhere around there. Billy Mummy. Now the Bionic, they weren't they like a premium pack? More than Archive Box? Because they didn't have a, a standard release. And I don't even remember Blowout even having those for sale. So I'm not sure if they were direct from Rittenhouse only. I know there was a guy at the Philly show selling them. There's our case toppers. our printing plates I mean the closest thing to that we ever got was um, Cryptozoic had I'm trying to think was it Epic Battles one of their DC sets that they had put out you had um, a hot box where you would get 
like 10 or 12 sketches out of it. All right, Salome Jens. I think it actually makes more sense to because if you think about it, if the standard set has 72 cards, Dick Miller, and you get one printing plate set for every 18 cases that you order, you know, the numbers never work. Leland Crook. So, you know, either they're sitting on a bunch of printing plates, they, you know, give them out to people. I, I don't know what they do with them. But why not randomly put printing plates in the boxes? And I mean full sets, just like they do. Maybe not necessarily a full archive box, but, you know, they could do like a like half an archive box. Susan Bay Nimoy. If they went back now to not doing it, you know, if you buy 18 cases, Andrea Martin, they would have a lot of unhappy customers. Patricia Tallman. I did one under the Dome Archive box. Paul Popowich. The only thing that makes it kind of tough for me is I like to at least know something about the show, <laughs> you know, or the you know whatever it is that I'm opening. I mean, I've you know I've never I haven't seen every episode of DS9, and you know it's one of my least favorite. Julie Caitlin Brown. Whoa. Pop up, hold on. Sorry. And Charlie Brill. But yeah, I mean, I, I know less than nothing except that it was a show. There's a bunch of people under a dome. I wonder if a product isn't very well sold because Blowout is probably if not the biggest, one of the biggest um, distributors for Rittenhouse, you know, if they if Rittenhouse contacts them and says, hey, you want to buy, you know, 20 archive boxes. Mark Allen Shepard. You know, like I was talking about earlier, the thing that kills me on the one in particular, Shannon Cochran, is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., is that they only did the two seasons, and, uh, did he take Iggy Pop, I'm assuming? Yeah. I mean, the only way to not pick, probably pick him is if you have a really good printing plate. Barbara Bossen. Steven Weber. But I, I was looking on eBay and the shield boxes have really gone up in value. Rene Arbrage when Genois. I think I'm relatively close on that one. You know what? I I don't know. It's I was looking at those too because Blowout has not listed any of the Twilight Zone archive boxes yet. Unless they unless they're only selling them on eBay. And I saw some sold way higher than I ever would have expected. Oh, whoops, sorry. That's just one of the inserts. 
because honestly the the twilight zone archive box there's nothing of any real interest to me in there even shannon cochran even the printing plates are uh i mean the, the base cards are i mean they're they're boring it's all text bernie casey But I'll pretty much guarantee you that they're going to start them at $2,000. Because I think that's what I saw the one sell for. Somewhere in that vicinity. Felicia Bell. But that uh, the Archive exclusive autograph. Um, can't think of the guy's name. There was one that was selling at auction. And it was over $500. But, you know, after that. I think there's. You said there's no Ron Howard, um, and the inscription autographs, they're random, so you I think you get eight of them. Jim Metzler. All right, but after that one card, the, the drop-off is immense. Michael Dorn, silver, Michael, ugh, boy, I'm losing it now. Michael Dorn, silver signature. And Caitlin Hopkins. I mean, like I said, the biggest problem with Twilight Zone is that they just don't have enough signers. There aren't enough, you know, living actors from the show left. Unless you're going after every variation of every signer. Once you open up one case, you're done. Harris Yellen. Because if you look at Rittenhouse's checklist, I think they say there's like 70 autographs. But in reality, it's, you know, 30. Melanie Smith. And what was it? We figured it out. The Serling cut autograph is one in every eight cases, roughly. Does that sound right? Galen Gorg. So I think once they've been out for a little bit longer, they'll they'll come down a good amount. Joseph Culp. I could see doing it again when it gets cheaper because I really don't want to have to sort those cards again. It's a big set. Heidi Swedberg. Were either of you fans of the Orville set that they put out a little while back? Susanna Thompson. Yeah, not many pulled, but also I don't think a lot of product was opened. Brett Cullen. Do you think that the Orville is going to drop in price? Um, via Nula Flanagan. I'm just wondering now that it's getting moved off of broadcast. If it's going to hurt the value of the cards. Because I, I really. At the time before that happened. The archive box I think was like $1,500. And I, I thought that was actually not a bad price at all. Because if you look at the value um, of what the McFarlane, the uh, the Rob Lowe, the Palicki, and then you also got the dual autographs, Annette Heldy, Joel Sweetow. You hate sets that have all the short prints. Do you mean like Upper Deck? Where they... That seems to be their new thing. That they tier everything four different times. James Loyan. I don't mind there being a short print. But it's when it gets a little overboard. Like Upper Deck did with Flair.
Because like Marvel Masterpieces, I thought they did it, you know, especially the 2016. They did a really good job with that. Tracy Scoggins. Armin Shimmerman. Silver Signature. Not focusing. Still not focusing. Oh, geez. There we go. Yeah, could that have taken any longer? Well, with the archive boxes, the big thing anymore is that they want to give value to both Vanessa Williams Iggy Pop But then you'll see, even with a with a weak release, the archive exclusives don't even help. X Files is a perfect example, which, you know, again, I think the archive box the value's there, but because the release was so bad, Bridget Ann White, nobody wants to touch it. I've tried like three times. Are you sure about the Shatner? I thought that he's still an option or available as one of the uh, the random Marco Limo. I know they said that there was no Ron Howard, and then the duel that was Cloris Leachman. That one wasn't in there, but I, I could have sworn Shatner was not listed as a non uh, possible. I mean, I could be wrong. I don't remember since it's not even up for sale. I didn't really go too deep into it. When I just saw that, you know, how much was in there and how much people were selling it for, it wasn't worth it. Terry Farrell, Silver Signature. Wendy Roby. Andrew Robinson. <laughs> That's the one tough thing about when I'm t if I'm talking and you guys have to type and we're we're bouncing around on the different things. I gotta take a drink here. Deborah Van Valkenberg. So let's take a step back here. E. Kim, what we're talking about, Chase Masterson. I have no idea what one finger means. So the this particular archive box, the Deep Space Nine Heroes and Villains. So you have different versions of a bunch of the autographs, which are exclusive that you can only get in the archive box. Plus you have your printing plates. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now the display panel relic, can you get that out of the regular boxes? Mark Alimo. Oh, that's how you type. 
I'm a pretty fast typer, but I have to keep looking down at the keyboard. I don't trust myself if I look away. Max Grodenchik. Hillary Shepard Turner. And that was the one odd thing about the archive box for um, uh, Orville. Is that it included everything. Everything except for... Uh, I think there wasn't a Seth MacFarlane... The pack inserted version. I think you only got the archive exclusive version. But there was, one, there was one person that was like that. Everything else was included. Including the 6 and the 9 case incentives. Which they almost never do. Of course, now the old archive boxes, especially the Marvel ones, they were nice because they would give you one of every single artist a sketch card. Wayne Grace, like in the original uh, DC Legacy, I think it was. Alright, let's get back to which... So you say no duels in the archive boxes. Orville definitely has duels in it. Bill Smitrovich, I know um, Twilight Zone has the the one duel that was pretty much won a case. But then there was a, a six or a nine case incentive duel that was not included in the archive box. But like I was saying, the old stuff, you know, DC Legacy, which was from 2007, I think that one had one artist... One sketch from every artist in it, and then, uh, then later on when the later sets came out, like a year or two later, then they would be like, okay, you have twenty assorted sketches. Michael Canavan. Deborah Lacey. Bertilla Damas. Five to go. Of course, not all archive boxes have the, the value to them. Um, Jill Jacobson, Star Trek Discovery, for instance. Except for the, uh, the green archive exclusive autograph, there's nothing in there. Bill Mummy, of any real value. I couldn't, I think they're down to like $700 and they still can't move them. Hmm, excuse me. No, I do not. I live in New Jersey. So I had just posted today in the for the national for next year, Courtney Peldon. I am uh, less than a 30 minute drive to the National next year. Stephen Macht. Alexander Siddig. So I was trying to give National advice. Oh, I'm going to run out of soft sleeves. I only have three left here on my table. I mean, I got plenty more. I just only have three left on the table. And I still have three packs to go.
I've been in Georgia. Does that count? All right, these we're just going to not sleeve anything, except unless it's a... Well, we didn't get the Avery Brooks yet, so... Syed Batten. These last couple are just going to have to wait until I get another pack. Deirdre Immersheen. Wallace Sean. Well, why are you asking? Here's the Avery Brooks. I think that was the last uh, big one we were waiting on. Camille Saviola. Daphne Ashbrook. You know what's funny is I actually wish I did live close enough because I think that Dragon Con is the one. Is that the one that usually has a ton of Doctor Who um, actors? Hillary Shepard Turner. I haven't worked on it in a long time, but I have a side project. Molly Hagen. This is our last autograph. But I was doing a lot of Doctor Who uh, autographs through the mail and buying them. I, specifically, though, is I like autographed uh, index cards because I was wanted to do a framed thing. But... I kind of, <laughs> as with most anything, I get lazy and I lose, I lose it. All right, so this is card 68, Adult Jake Sisko. I always wanted to go to a to a con, see all the people walking around in costume and stuff. When my son was younger, and he actually cared. You know, was interested in this stuff with me. We were going to, uh, we wanted to go. But of course, then we found out how much it cost to go to uh, New York Comic Con. And we, we said, ah, forget that. Um, and then I heard Wizard World in Philly is turned, is really stinks. I have, uh, well, I have Eccleston's autograph, I don't have Matt Smith's autograph. Uh, and drum roll. Who's the and? Come on, how long are you going to make me wait? Let's go. Oh, darn. You know, somewhere, and I have to find it, I actually have, I think it's in my mom's house, I actually have, uh, got, I got an autograph from John Pertwee back, oh my god, I'm trying to think, how old was I when I got that? In the, in the like, mid-80s, late-80s, um, it was just signed, I, like, he wrote me a letter, I wrote him a letter, and then he responded back with a typed letter, and he signed, like, a little piece of paper uh, with it. So hopefully I still have it somewhere. Okay, so that's it for the break. We saw everything. I'll scan the plates and the display thing, the display relic and the uh, cuts. The draft list will just go off of the one from the last uh, draft of this for boxes two and three. And I'll go through the normal rigmarole now. If there's anything you'd like me to break, shoot me a message over on Blowout, post it in my thread. You know, if anybody's interested, we'll give it a shot. I'm definitely looking for something different to do. That's why the, the Deep Space Nine, I'm actually surprised. I thank George, because I've tried doing DS9 in the past, and they never took off. But uh, I guess everybody else was tired, too. They wanted to do something different. 
So we do have breaks up for uh, next generation portfolio prints, season series one and series two archive boxes. That's just one giant combo break. It's not broken down into the two different series. Also, Skywalker Saga. Um, it's supposed to come out in a couple of weeks. I don't know if it got pushed back since Chrome Legacy did. Also, join the Facebook group. Do a search for it. It's iFish73 Breaks and Mail Service. Post on there that you saw, you know, you saw the video, who you are. If you're on Blowout, tell me your username. Uh, we're going to start doing breaks over there. We were trying to fill one for space, but it was just too big. So we're going to start smaller. We're going to do Walking Dead from Cryptozoic, Season 4, Part 2. That's the one we're going to fill now. Uh, it's a small break. It's a cheap break. It's only like $20 a, a spot. And... Uh, like two-thirds of the spots are going to snake, so you get the, a second pick. And uh, also, Marvel Premiere. Might try and do that one over on the Facebook group too, but I need to definitely need commitment on that because it's an expensive case. So again, if you're interested in Marvel Premiere, comes out pretty soon. I forget the release date. But again, we'll, uh, we can do that over there. So thanks for watching. And I will see you guys on the next break.